Welcome back to Central Valley Talk, where we are starting our 13th year. Uh, we have so many talk shows throughout the day and throughout the week. Keep tuning in. If you're interested in the arts or into books or into home improvement or real estate, we have so many different shows, and we want you to watch them because... We're a talk show. We need viewers. <laughs> anyway, what are you doing at home right now? Are you locked up with COVID? Can you get out? Is there nothing to do in Fresno? Uh, where do you turn for entertainment for, to keep yourself occupied? Well, I binge watch. I'm on Amazon, Netflix, uh, Hulu, all these different shows and channels. That's almost all I do right now. Um, we've stumbled upon, actually we've known about him for years, but Justin McAleese is here, and he made a movie right here in Fresno, and now it's going to be on Amazon, right? Totally on Amazon right now, yeah. Let's back up a minute. There's this filmmaking community in Fresno that really goes to town. Yes, absolutely. A lot of really solid players here, people that are really care about it and sort of obsessed with making you know, products that they like. So, yeah, it's great. But it's, I don't know if every community has this, but Fresno has a strong community of it. We support each other. You see a lot of the same actors and different different productions and stuff like that. So Yeah, for sure. I think we're pretty tight-knit, and I think people get along well, and that they want to see each other's products, or I mean uh, projects, mm -hmm. thrive and survive and do well. So I think that's important. Yeah. I loved, I watched, the, I went to the premiere of this movie called Bricks. Yeah, you did. Brick Madness, yeah. And I don't want to call it Legos, but something that looked kind of like Legos that lock in together. And, <laughs> yeah, similar. And, uh, it's almost like, uh, reminding me a little bit of a mockumentary, can we say It that? certainly is a mockumentary. Is. So yeah, I was yeah. taking it all serious, but it is a mockumentary then, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mo mockumentary, the term I think gets um, uh, misunderstood sometimes, mock you're not mocking the subject, you're mocking the idea of a documentary. Oh, man. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's the format that you're mocking, not the people in the format. So, yeah, it is actually a mock documentary, a fake documentary, a fuckumentary about, um, about some people participating in a national competition yeah. um, with this, bricks. Yeah, this is Spinal Tap. This is Spinal Tap. is very similar in that Rob, regard. Uh, Reiner directed that, and I Absolutely. remember that's the first one I saw that I fell in love with the genre. There's one about a dog show. And sure, best one, in show. Yeah, and uh, one about folk singers. And, yep, A Mighty Wind. Yeah, A Mighty Wind. I was yeah, yeah. laughing just thinking about them. They're great, yeah. And uh, Christopher Guest, um, definitely, we definitely look toward him for inspiration mm -hmm. in the movies that they've made together. Yeah. And they have a good, um, uh, a good cast that brings... The same sort of ideas every time, but in a new, twisted, fun, unique way. I mean, it's really great, yeah, what they've been able to do. And so, you know, we wanted a little bit of piece of that idea. Fortunately, we haven't been... People have told us that they are sort of similar, but not the same. And it wasn't like we were just stealing from them, which is good, because we were trying not to. Now, um, when you say it's on Amazon, are we able to pay and see it on our TV? Absolutely, yeah. So if you go to Amazon.com right now and type in Brick Madness, you will see it. It's on there. It's uh, I think it's 8 bucks yeah. for the SD version, 10 bucks for the HD wow. version. It's way cheaper than going to a movie. It is, yeah. and cheaper. We, we also sell DVDs and Blu-rays. Those are a little more expensive, but you get more stuff with it. Oh, I bet, I bet. Yeah. Well, the reason I ask, can you pay and watch it? <clears throat> One of my buddies called me the other day, and, and he's locked up. He's in his 80s, and he says, hey, oh. bring me some DVDs. I said, I don't think they have that anymore. <laughs> but they do, huh? They do. I got one right here. Yeah. And right now, it's so easy to go to one of these sites like Amazon. You click, press a button, <clears throat> pay a couple bucks, and watch the movie. Yeah, totally. And I I used to always struggle with DVD players and stuff. So I... I, I I'm happy to be on a thing that is so widely accessible, yeah. and it's awesome, yeah. Yeah, push the button and watch it. Done. Now, uh, you have a good cast. I have, There are some extremely funny people in this mm -hmm. movie. Um, I hope that my brother and I hold our own as our own characters. But, yeah, we get a lot of, um, a lot of compliments for who's in it and, and how natural they are, how funny they are, what they bring to the screen. Now, Anthony Taylor's in it. Anthony Taylor's hilarious. He's off in New York City now. He's gone on a bigger and he's, he's He's big time. Was you, his wife in it? Uh, she is... She is not in the theatrical cut or the, okay. the cut that you would see on Amazon. Yeah. If you get the DVD, you see you her. see her a little bit. Yeah, and she's great because she has a little part where she's basically getting miffed by him completely and like during the thing he's like oh you're the best and you're what makes everything so great and he has this sort of thing while they're doing a press conference and then she comes up afterwards and he's like who are you who are you yeah, yeah it's yeah. really great and she's gone off the big thing in new york she's like a cnn or a fox or a yeah, totally. network or something so yeah. so these are guys um 
Some of them were from Fresno. Some of them are still from Fresno. And will we see Fresno scenes in it? Like a bit. Oh, oh there's such and such. Event. There's a little bit of that. We spent most of the time um, that we were here in Fresno over at the Chagoyne Theater, uh -huh. yeah, um, up north. And we there's a decent amount once again of like cut scenes mm -hmm. that if you get the DVD or Blu-ray, then you would be able to see those things. More of those, huh? Yeah, because we spent a lot of time at the beginning of the movie, sort of like figuring out Fresno. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it first came out when? I mean, I saw it at the Terror Theater. What that was in was 2017. 2017. So, yeah, we, we've been working on distribution to actually get it out there to everyone since then, basically. Okay, so from 2017 it came out to now. Yeah. But more I'm interested in, from before 2017, how long did you work on it? I started in 2009. Oh, my God. Yeah, so eight up to 17 was yeah. eight years, and now it's 11 years. Yeah. Sometimes I see a... a, a That's less than a dollar a year, dollar a year. that I spent on it. Now, I watch, uh, um, like, Ryan and Kelly uh -huh. live every day, and they have these actors on, and their movie's coming out, and I always think, well, they just finished it last week or something. Yeah, right? It's, it's like years and it years, It could be a it? long time in between yeah. that. Yeah, the gestation period can be yeah. quite a bit. Quite a few years. Now, uh, and by the way, those actors come on, it's like, well, they're the whole movie, but actors have this much to do with the whole movie, I would imagine. Yeah, in a lot of ways. I mean, I think they have a little bit more uh, involvement in this project than a lot of others, because... Sometimes they're making up their lines on the spot because there's yeah. a lot of improv, and that's why there's someone like Anthony Taylor who's like just gifted. He's yeah. just hilarious. He brings so much to that that you can't get any other way. I think when when lines are scripted versus improv, you just get a different feel sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, I, I know I told you this before, but when Central Valley Talk kicked off in 2008, the first day Anthony Taylor came in was our newsman. We, was he really? So we're gonna have daily news, but oh, yeah, that's fantastic. But he just rolls into anything he does. He's a smart, very guy. natural guy. Yeah. Yeah, and I think there's five or six actors that hold a similar thing. There's a lot of great actors within the movie, but in, in being able to do improvise scenes and come up with stuff that you wouldn't be able to think of any other time, yeah. on set right then and just have something hilarious, I think there's a lot of great people in it like that. Now, are all the actors just acting, or do some of them have multiple roles, like holding the boom or the camera? Or Absolutely. The or well, it's within, you know, it's a mockumentary, so... In our form of the mockumentary, we're showing the crew mm -hmm. to an extent. We're seeing right, the director and we're, we're doing all that. I'm the, in real life, I'm the director. And within the mockumentary, we got another guy named Cedric Donovan, and he's the filmmaker within it. Yeah. So the people holding the boom, Reggie holding a boom mic, he's legitimately holding a boom mic. And also we see him in the shot yeah. holding a boom mic. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's sort of both in a variety of things. So if we go to Amazon.com, by the way, yes, and uh, you pay a couple bucks to see it, yep. I mean, what entertainment don't you pay to see? So expect, of course, to pay a couple bucks to see a movie. You know, this is, a, this is me, us, Fresno people making a movie, okay. putting it together. We're trying to make back some of our money in yep. the short term by selling it to people who want to see it. Yep. Um, eventually, it might be for free. Who knows? If but you I have Prime say, or something like that. Yeah, if you have Prime. But um, it's never going up on YouTube for free, put it right. that way. There you go. Yeah, I know there's not going to be a better way to see it, I don't think. Yeah, well, I um, used to go to the movie theater. Remember those when they Slightly. had those? It's got to be the out? movie you really want yeah. to see. And now they that. sell booze in the movie theater, too. So, uh, <laughs> $75 minimum. Yeah, yeah. So uh, 8 bucks is great. I think about 8 bucks probably to order 8 bucks for the SD version. Yeah, yeah. 10 bucks for the, the HD version. And uh, you can look on reviews. Mm -hmm. Most of those people are friends or family, but some of them aren't people I know. And we still got perfect five stars. So yeah. that's something. I tell you guys, I've seen this movie. Get the HD version. And this is a better version than what you saw, too. Yeah. I did some tweaks. There's probably a hundred, a thousand small changes, little things, yeah. fixes here and there. It's a little bit better than what you saw. So, Well, I, you know, we have started Center Valley Talk because people said, oh, there's nothing to do in Fresno. There's always something to do in Fresno, from watching a local movie to even being in a local movie. There's always something to do in Fresno. And totally. And this, this is, so this is a Blu-ray. This is the type okay. of thing I would send if you guys... Um, it was supposed to come from the distributor, and I often send them out because I got all this stuff at the house. You get this cool tape. Mm, we made ah. custom tape for the movie with Ricky's face on it. And then you open it up. I didn't tape it all the way on that one. But um, you open up, and you get to see the actual Blu-ray. It's probably hard. Um, and it has all those extra deleted scenes, all that scene, stuff. Yeah. It's legit. It's in Especially if you're from Fresno, you're going to want to see those scenes. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. 
So there you go, that sort of thing. Oh yeah, I put, um, there's a magnet. You also get a magnet to go uh -huh. on your fridge, <laughs> which is fun. Now, uh, where do we get this one, the Blu-ray? Do we this, order that on Amazon or somewhere else? No, this is a, through our distributor, Little Sister. So okay. if you go to brickmadness.com, okay. the easiest way to find both of those things probably, just go to brickmadness.com. Pretty simple. And it's just B-R-I-C-K, no trick spelling? No trick spelling. Brickmadness.com. Yep. On Amazon, just type brick, start the word brick. I bet it comes up sooner or later, brick madness. Yeah, and, yeah. There's uh, not too many other things with yeah. the same name. Yeah. But if you're a collector, a Fresno collector, or a movie collector, or you just like cool stuff, or better yet, you just want to support uh, something cool from Fresno, go to brickmadness.com and order the Blu-ray or the DVD. That would be awesome. Anything else we should know, Chase? Uh, buy Bitcoin right Bitcoin, now. Really? <laughs> That's what I would say. That's, well, a, that's a whole other topic. That's a good tip. Yeah, yeah. But, right. um, yeah, watch the movie. I think you'll like it. And there's no politics, and there's no pandemic in it. And there's it's uh, kid safe, too. That's your interpretation. I'm going to watch and find the political statements. <laughs> we'll do it that way. All right. So much undercurrent. Justin, I say it wrong, don't I? McAleese? No, it's 100%. McAleese? You got it. McAleese? Okay. Yeah. I'm just going to mumble it. And uh, Brick Madness. Go to BrickMadness.com. Just check it out and stuff, and that will inspire you to watch the movie, too. We'll, so. be, we'll be back with more CentralValleyTalk.com.